Francis? Francis? How are we? Salam alaikum. So Moses Atalma, big fight for you Saturday. Yeah. First title fight up there. Look cool, look calm. Yesterday, look cool, look calm. Tomorrow, you look cool, you look calm. You just call it calm. That's part of the plan. That's part of the plan. Maybe I'll get it from my dad. It's too late back, but yeah, 100%. My first title, hopefully not the last. And um, for sure, I'm looking forward to these big nights. Fraser, I've actually sat ringside with you before uh, watching a Moses Town fight. I think it, it was possibly in Telford as well. Yeah. And, you, and you were you were kind of like, well, this guy is quite something, right? Well, I think it's, it's common knowledge. I, I'm a big boxing fan. And when this young man was coming through in the amateurs and I was watching him, I was sure we was destined for an Olympic champion. He chose to turn professional and ever since, you know, some people might have said, oh, he could have gained a bit more experience. He's doing the learning here and isn't he doing it so well. I'm loving watching it. I'm trying to avoid his, his, uh, his backhand from afar, if I'm honest. But he's, he's doing ever so well. And honest to God, like I say, I'm a fan. And I hope one day he does win more, world, more titles. And I hope one day me and him headline over here for a world title. 100%. That sounds pretty good, Francis. Sounds good. And, you know, Fraser's Fraser always been very complimentary about, about Moses and, them, and I'm sure the feeling's mutual. So it's nice to see a bit, you know, good respect between the guys. 100%. And, you know, he's, he's, he's coming on leaps and bounds every fight. Every, you know, every training camp he's gaining experience. There's great learning in the gym. Um, I know he's, he's first camp with Ben's on very well. And, um, yeah, on, on to his first title fight, which is um, you know, big news for him. Um, Ben's floating around him at the moment. We're going to get Ben up here and, and talk to us in a minute. And we didn't have a chance to really talk to you about the whole Ben thing. You know, are, are you, when you're there, Mo, is it, is it like a, like a, as an old squad, you know, England squad or club? Or are you coming in at staggered times? No, we're coming in at staggered times, but obviously our, uh, there's, a, there's some times where our times may clash. And I may see Anthony Joshua and I'm like, I'll ask him a few questions. And it kind of like, it's, it's nice to know that I've got someone to ask questions and he's been somewhere where I want to go. So it makes life easier. Because you are a sponge. That's a compliment. No, he is a, he's a monster sponge. Honestly, I've sat with him and you can almost see him absorbing what you're saying. He ain't listening, he's absorbing it. Yeah, he's agree. taking it in. And then you'll say something about him, right? Six months later, he'll pull you over and he'll say, yeah, I really like that, Steve, don't worry. He's a sponge, man. And sponges are good. Absolutely. Sponges are good. I, sponges are good. I think it's a great move, you know, him, him go with Ben and seeing the likes of, of Josh around because almost like a, a good young football team. Yeah. It, it's not quite as good without a few solid pros in the middle. Yeah, and point. I think all it does is, is bring you on and bring you on. And like I say, he's in good, he's in good hands. And, you know, I hope he's not, he's not in too good hands. He's not learning too much because one day, you know, I think we'll clash out here in a big one. That'd be yeah. a big fight one day, Moses. You're a big crazy. Imagine. That's some tickets. Yeah. How many big fights have we got in the heavyweight division over the next 10 years? Loads. Just involving British fights. No, I'm being honest. We've got 30 fights. Well, I mean, you know, you sort of, I mean, the, the, the great fight that Frazier and Fabio had, it was absolutely spectacular. Massive. You haven't even got to look out of the side of the UK yeah. for, for the top, top fights. So the abundance of talent on here, the, the abundance of talent we've got in the UK, happy times. Happy times for everybody. Back in, back in, back in, back in England, Fabio's going, oh, I am me. Baby Adelaide's <laughs> going, oh, I am me. <laughs> Joe Joyce is going, oh, I am me. Don't, Don't drop me out. Well. Soul yeah, saying, yeah. oh, I am me. They're all great oh, fighters and they're, they're all in the conversation for sure <laughs> Francis I think we're going to uh, we're going to swap you out we're going to get Absolutely. a bit of trainer words let's find out what this uh, what this relationship is going like Ben Davison great to see you new charge here in Moses Itama yeah. is he any good not too bad <laughs> hold on no I think it's very rare to come across a heavyweight whose skills could match those of somebody at any weight across the board um, but that's what we've got here, so yeah, I'm very, very excited about the future. How's he settling into the gym? It, it sounds like there's staggered times, but sometimes he gets a little bit of advice off of AJ as well. Yeah. Feels like a good vibe over there. Yeah, fantastic, and I like that. I like to try and create a team environment uh, where they can all learn from each other. Don't want to put words in his mouth, but I feel like he's come and his eyes have been open to a degree in, in new ways of looking at the sport and I feel like that's ignited the fire in him he's passionate about the sport of boxing and that excites us as coaches Ben I think you know, I, I call him a sponge I said he's a great I think he's a good I mean not, not putting words in your mouth he's a good listener isn't he Yeah. he's a really good listener I try my best yeah very coachable and he'll go into yeah. a spa and he'll try and put into to practice what you're, what you're trying to teach and what you're trying to encourage and uh, 
that is a sign of somebody that will go go far, whether they've got talent or not. And luckily, yeah. we've got plenty of talent. It's a bonus. And how are you adjusting to working under Ben? I know that with Lee Wiley and Ben very meticulous in their preparation, a lot of videotape, a lot of slowing things down. How are you uh, adjusting to that? Oh, 100%. It's not really a lot of adjusting. I feel like I'm kind of used to it as an amateur. I was always training with my club coaches and then GB coaches and then England coaches. So like, I'm kind of used to it, but um, yeah, it's been a blessing. It's been a blessing, especially last year, this year, and um, hopefully new beginnings. Listen, you spent time with Tyson Fury up in his camp as well. Biggest fight of his life on Saturday night against his toughest opponent is what he's saying as well. Uh, how did he look to you in those, you know, the time that you spent with him? No, 100%, very good, very good. Even also him being in this camp, he passed down a lot of knowledge. And um, I'm very appreciative of that. And I hope he goes, does the job on Saturday night. Ben, can I ask you a question? You're, you and Lee are forensic the way you prepare your fighters. You know, eight rounders, brutal title fights, major fights, make or break fights. Tell me about it. Yeah, would you, yes. <laughs> would you like, would you like to be preparing a fighter to fight Usyk or Tyson Fury? Which one of them would you prefer to prepare a fighter for? Just being honest, I'm, like, bus, uh, I'm quite soft-hearted and it always stands in my mind when AJ got upset after the second Usyk fight. I didn't even know him at the time. But that resonates with me with someone who's just desperate to, that, you know, and I'm very confident that we could put that right. Obviously, knowing that he was coming to the gym, we looked at that fight and we showed him some examples. And I feel like that's now giving him confidence that actually, yeah, if I do these things, I'm very confident of being able to win that fight. So, yeah, if, if, I, if I had my choice, that'd be it. Are you patient with him or do you take it to him, Ben? You're fighting Usyk. You're patient with him. You take it to him or a bit. Of I can't say. The problem is Usyk's very well. He's very well rounded. He's good enough to make adjustments. I feel like there's going to be ebbs and flows, and there's going to be adjustments from both guys on Saturday, and, but, and they're good enough both to make those adjustments. I think you can't just, again, for example, AJ tried to approach the fight with two different styles. Fight one, fight two. It's understanding scenarios, how to create scenarios, how to understand tendencies that the fighter's got and how you can exploit them. And, um, yeah, I'm very confident we'd, we'd be able to be successful if, if that opportunity come up. Fantastic stuff. Ben Davison, Moses and Tamil, we're going to let you go. Thank you. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take the handshake and the mic. Sure, ben. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. It's the Moses and Tamil. This is always Only one can own the throne. Let's have it! Fury v. Usyk. Live on TNT Sports Box Office.